Here's my journal from the Just Junk Journal from Dear Julie Julie on January of 2021. So here's my cover. Along with, oh, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Along with the charms and the tassel. Oh, I'm losing it. And then here's the back of the cover. So then if we look inside, this is a pocket made from the from a book page. This is from the mini challenge with the um, the napkin. Here's the inside. There's where the tickets use. This is from a different mini challenge where you had to use a six by six sheet of paper. So I took one six by six sheet of paper. I cut all these stars out so that you could um, journal on the back of them. And then I also added a journal page here. This is the coloring page. This is my fabric flip. There's a pocket here with a little tag. And then when you flip, I put a sheet of writing paper there. On the back side of that is my dad's trifold pocket with three different inserts. There's one. There's, oh, that just came off. And then here's the, uh, let's see, there's the third. <laughs> okay, this is one side of the double tuck with the envelope with two little journaling spots. On the back side of that, this is the wallet. Oops, things are falling out. And this was made with a calendar page on the outside and part of the napkin on the inside. Here's one of my guest checks. Here's my guest check from one of the mini challenges. On the back side of that, this is like a map of the rapid transit system in Boston. Here's a second use of the napkin for the mini challenge. And um, it has a little tuck spot there, a little place to journal on the back. This is my matchbook. Up. And there are, let's see, so it says more to imagine, and then there are journaling pages inside. Part of the eight that could be included. Okay, on the other side of this page is my flip flop. Pockets, it has inserts, a belly band on front. Okay, a piece of right blank paper and more of the transit map. This is one of the challenges. I think it was when I had to use a card. So I used an index card that you could write on the back of. This is my top tuck. And this is a little space where you can draw. 
I had more inserts. I think there were two inserts for this, but I moved them to different places just because they fit better. Like I had an insert in here that I moved and put this in. This is my envelope insert. My envelope ensemble, I should say. place to write on. Here's another tuck spot I added with playing card. On the back, this is my this is my fabric pocket. And an insert. My coloring page and the back of the first signature. This is a calendar page, obviously. This has a ticket. This is a pocket and tuck that I made as part of one of the challenges. I think it was the card challenge. I needed to make a pocket, so I did that. This also has a little writing space, and it has a tag tucked there. More book, more um, calendar pages. This is another um, pocket that I made, a pocket in a pocket, as part of the card challenge. This is a yellow index card, and it has a bunch of different little inserts. Um, I don't remember if I made this for a challenge. Maybe I just made it. This was a card I made during one of the challenges. It was for the one where you use four different cards, and it has a writing space on the back. Okay. Um, this I made for one of the challenges. It opens up and gives you a big writing space. I think I made that for the use a six by six piece of paper in four different ways. More calendar. This is another from the card challenge. This is a little insert. Here's an insert there. This is my belly band as a required element. One of the item, one of the inserts I made for it. Uh, this is a little pocket with a little tag. Another calendar page. Um, I think I just put this in here. I don't think it was for a challenge. This was for the card challenge. And it has writing. Actually, this one has a little pocket on the back with a place to write. And here's another pocket. And this was another one for the 6 by 6 Paper has two pockets inside with inserts. And it says there's power in being kind. Here's some writing space. Here's um, another of the six by six paper. I turned it to an into an envelope. This is one of the inserts where you can write on. You can write on both sides for this. That. This is also a tuck, and it has something in there. Um, this is one of the cards that I had to make, and it has a little writing space here, and it has a little tag here. More writing space. Writing space. I didn't feel like I necessarily had enough. This is my, um, oh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a required element and it has, oops, I can't see that. It has pockets. Oh, this is my waterfall. Uh, that's what you call that. This is another from the card challenge. And some paper to write on. OK, 
calendar writing page and the last calendar page and a pocket. Okay, this was very difficult for me. It was my first time trying to make a um, journal in a month. I had it almost at a month, and then when I knew I wasn't going to finish it, I just sort of like took time, but I decided I wanted to make sure that I finished it and posted this video. So thanks for the challenge.